Soul Scholar and Violet have had their fair share of bugs and issues since they dropped last November in 2022. Since then, players experienced game crashes, terror raid issues, amongst a flurry of other things that shouldn't be happening in their games. Now with the latest update, which we got just over a week ago as of recording this video, all of these issues were meant to be fixed. The patch notes detailed kind of fixes to the game crashes, to terror raid issues, and a multitude of other things but none of these seem to have been resolved i personally speaking have had more game crashes since doing this last update than i had the entire time playing from when the games released so that just says and speaks volumes in my mind i don't know what they have done to resolve any of these issues and the fact that a lot of players that I've spoken to and I've read about have experienced similar issues since this last update, it's got a lot of questions hanging over its head. But two days ago, there was an even bigger issue that has arisen from this latest update, and that seems to be where save files for players in Pokemon Scholar and Violet are experiencing their save data being corrupted to the point where they're losing their entire game save. Now, the bugs and the glitches that we've experienced before this have all been quite low impact, but this is probably as high impact as we can get. Of course, Game Freak not having a way to have a cloud-based storage system where you can have a safe backup does create more problems especially when there is a bug like this that completely wipes all of your games data you know hundreds of hours that players have put into their games just being wiped in a second and it's non-recoverable now there are a lot of different arguments about what is causing this bug whether it's the compatibility between pokemon go and sending postcards into scarlet and violet to catch the different vivalon forms that you can get now in pokemon scarlet and violet a lot of players experienced issues when sending postcards and people are kind of putting two and two together that that is causing these issues other players have downloaded the dlc or pre-ordered it into their games and got the gifts and then experienced issues there but there are some players as well that have reported these issues within their games where they've done neither pre-ordering the dlcs or connecting with pokemon go and sending postcards across and they are still experiencing these game corrupting issues you can see there was an article put out on monday from kotaku uh, about this new bug deleting player save files and it goes into details about it maybe being related to pokemon go and the feature there with sending postcards into your game also players who have experienced buying the dlcs and then experience the same corrupt message where you're not even able to get to the menu screen so you know if you've got a question like can you use the backup save to restore your save data you can't even get to the menu screen in your game to get to that point to restore your data your game data is completely corrupt and you can't even get to the menu screen so that is not even an option and like i say with game freak not implementing a cloud-based save storage place for save backups of your game then you all your save data is on your switch if that gets corrupted that is game over your save data is gone and for having countless hundreds of hours in your game it's a big risk and although it's only affecting a tiny proportion of the community at the minute it is something that is even scaring me right now I've, we've got a raid event happening in a day's time and i want to be covering it on the channel like we normally do but do i want to risk my game by going online opening it and playing it you know there's some interesting threads as well on reddit of course about the theories behind what is causing this um and also there was an update from joe merrick Serebi uh, about this so uh, you can see here a tweet from pew pew hey i'm going around about this from reliable accounts if i already got the dlc and connected to go once without any issues will it be okay to continue or should i not risk connecting to go more now joe comes back here so we've had reports from it happening without go connectivity so we don't know the root cause you should be fine it is quite rare we're just waiting from word from tpc so pokemon have not put any communication out about it. game freak have put no communication out about it and nintendo have put no communication out about it so far there was another thread on reddit that i was reading about this and some theories about what could cause this and of course we've went into the theories about it being pokemon go and the connection there sending postcards across and maybe auto saves uh something 
thing in the update has done something to auto saves and that is kind of corrupting the data even more. We know there is a, an auto save issue or there was an auto save issue in Sword and Shield that did get resolved, but there was an auto save issue in Sword and Shield that did corrupt game data could be a similar thing happening in Scarlet and Violet. And although I don't really think it's anything to do with the auto saves, because I think a lot of players that have experienced this laid down a hard save or reportedly laid down hard saves after connecting with Pokemon Go, closed their game down and it was when they came back into it that the game data was corrupt. Whereas other players have reported that they had auto saves on and the same issues occurred. And this is all after connecting with Pokemon Go. But like I say, I don't think it is the connectivity with Pokemon Go because there are players out there that have experienced this issue when they haven't even connected to Pokemon Go or done anything to do with pre-ordering the DLC. But there was this comment on Reddit. Anyone tried to keep track of where everyone was when the games crashed? I know the last patch changed how spawns work for NPCs and Pokemon, so I would guess that's more likely the source. Strangely, I don't think the game actually stopped spawning the NPCs themselves because there's an NPC who walks past with a suitcase whenever I'm checking my Pokemon size with the NPC in Mesagoza. I remember thinking it was funny after the patch occasionally going past on the path just his suitcase pops up without him attached. Now I think this is probably on the, the lines of where the probably issues are lying in personally myself just from experiences that I've had in the game. Now like I've said I've had more game crashes since updating to the latest version since I had in the entire time before this since the game's release. Now the crashes all happened in exactly the same place in Alfrenada town right outside the restaurant where there are a bunch of NPCs going past none of the NPCs that were there before the update have been removed they're all still there I was thinking a lot of these NPCs that are randomly walking around would be removed but none of them seem to be and this was definitely something that was mentioned in the patch notes about NPCs and particular Pokemon in certain areas of the game are going to be removed and I haven't seen any of that so far. Kotaku in their article do go on to say that Nintendo are aware of this problem. You can see here some players tried to contact Nintendo support to get their Pokemon back. One support agent reportedly told the player that the publisher was looking into to it before closing their ticket. Another Red Air customer service representative reportedly brought up the possibility of transferring Pokemon from their corrupt save into Pokemon Home once compatibility launches. Saku even reached out to Nintendo about whether or not the fix will be coming soon, but not receive a response by the time of this publication. So like I say, we've still got no information about this from official sources from Nintendo or Game Freak. And hopefully we do get something soon in regards to it, but it looks like any support tickets that are being sent or just getting the same kind of answer back and then closed and it's just been a closed shop ever since so there's no real communication leaving a lot of room for speculation about what is causing these issues and who will be affected next of course it is very worrying when you've got over 400 or 600 or even more hours poured into a game that is one of your favorite franchises on this console and for such a big multimedia organization you would think they would have some resources to get communication out to everyone as soon as possible about these potential issues where they're occurring where to avoid or what not to do in your games before launching a very quick and decisive patch for these issues of course there wouldn't be so much concern if pokemon home compatibility was now available with pokemon scarlet and violet but we have no way to get our pokemon out of our current games and put them somewhere safe like pokemon home of course the compatibility with that is still up in the air. It is going to be coming in spring 2023, whenever that will be. But at the moment, we are kind of stuck. No cloud-based saving storage, no Pokemon Home, and there is a slight risk. Like I say, I don't want this video to be a scaremongering video or anything like that. It was more just to make you all aware of the issues that are currently happening. And the one thing that I feel like it definitively ties back to is the update. Now, a bunch of you have probably already got this update. Now, conveniently to me, Make sure if you wanted the new Paradox Pokemon from the latest raid event, you had to update your games to get these Pokemon. Otherwise, there was an issue with a weird glitch that caused an egg to appear in raid dens, meaning that you had to update your games. So I'm presuming if you wanted to add these new Pokemon to your collections for this limited time available Terror Raid event, then you've probably updated already. But if you haven't, it's probably worth 
just holding off for a little while before you update your game and wait for this patch. And when that patch comes out, we can cover it here on the channel to make sure that you're aware of it and you do the necessary things so you don't experience any of these game breaking issues with Scarlet and Violet. You would like to think though, because Game Freak act so fast on something like a duplication glitch, a duplication glitch that came out for Scarlet and Violet, came out and a week later they had a patch for it. A week later they had a patch for it. Now it's getting close to a week of this game breaking issue being out. By Monday, are we gonna have a patch? You would hope so. You would hope we would get some sort of communication about it. It's not a little issue either. This is literally affecting players in a way that nothing else has affected players before. It's probably the worst case scenario for players losing their game data. So hopefully friends, like I say, it's only affecting a very small percentage of players when they are doing certain things in the game, but there doesn't seem to be one thing that we can put our finger on saying that is what is causing it. There seems to be a multitude of things that are causing these issues well, that about does it for today like i said i just wanted to put a video out to make more people aware about it because it is something that can affect each and every one of us although the numbers are very small at the minute let's hope there's not too many more people that it does cause issues with and the game freak can act like they do when there's duplication glitches they put this to the highest priority bracket possible and get it sorted out as soon as possible because this seems way more of a serious problem than any duplication glitch that would occur in a game by it not being coded properly so that's my two cents on it and like i said i really feel for anyone that has been affected by these issues up to now thank you so much for tuning in as always if we do get any updates on these issues that are happening now in scarlet and violet i'll throw them up on the channel as soon as possible take care of yourselves friends stay safe and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye